At what point in your life did you start focusing on your own skincare? I feel like I was late to the game. I would have loved to do this in my 20s. You know, I finished plastic surgery residency at 35. My father always joked, I got my first real job at 35. But the idea is after age 18, we lose 1% per year of collagen and elastin. So do the math. At 35, I've already lost a significant percent. The idea would be the younger you can start, the better. Even teenagers, you have to understand, you have oily skin, acne prone skin, uh, and we do harsh things to it. So early is better. Someone told me the best time to moisturize was right before bed. Is this true? Well, it's one of the best times to moisturize. You have to imagine there are two cycles, one in the morning before you're about to hit all the environmental insults and injuries. And so that would be a good time to moisturize because you're gonna be outside, depending on the level of humidity, sun exposure and things like that, you're gonna have a drying effect. Right before bed, obviously, uh, the idea is to trap in as much moisturizer as you can. You're gonna lose some on your pillow, you're gonna, uh, you know, as you sleep. So I think there are two different cycles, once in the morning, once at night. If you could give one piece of advice to your younger self about taking care of your skin, what would it be? Boy, I think I would have worn more sunscreen when I was younger. I, you know, I loved getting dark brown uh, as far as a tan, and I, my skin naturally has a little darker tint, but that and I would have started a skincare regimen earlier, even in my 20s. So the idea would be to preserve, maintain, as opposed to retroactively be treating. What made you want to get into the field of skincare and plastic surgery? You know, I started off wanting to be a trauma surgeon. As in medical school, that's where you, they let you do the most and you feel like you are saving lives. I think I met someone my third year of general surgery residency, a plastic surgeon who was operated on the most fascinating cases. Took me under his wing and uh, I decided at that moment that trauma may not be for me and plastic surgery was. Now, as far as skincare, that's something that I learned over time and the importance as I was going through plastic surgery residency. And so it piqued my interest and uh, hit the ground running.